In 1988, 25,000 American soldiers invaded Panama, executing the most expensive and deadly arrest in history. After three days of combat, General Manuel Noriega surrendered. The military dictator's subsequent criminal trial raised numerous issues of first impression. In United States v. Noriega, the 11th Circuit addressed several novel legal questions involving considerations of domestic law, international law, and foreign policy. A federal grand jury indicted Manuel Noriega for drug trafficking. Noriega was Panama's de facto leader and the military's commander-in-chief. He also received millions of dollars from the Medellin drug cartel for his help smuggling cocaine into the United States and laundering money. Noriega declared war on the United States which invaded Panama to remove him from power. Panama suffered catastrophic casualties, and Noriega lost political control. He surrendered and was forcibly transported to Florida for prosecution on the indictment. Noriega was convicted and received a 40-year sentence. The district court denied his motion for a new trial. Noriega appealed to the 11th Circuit. 